The FAMU Spring Golf Invitational kicked off this weekend in Tallahassee, Florida at the 18-hole Southwood Golf Course where five teams competed with this competition and others to determine who will win the MIAC Golfing Championship. The Tree to Tree Adventures offers three different courses to children and adults where you can explore Tallahassee 60 feet off the ground. In Tallahassee, Florida, I'm Ashley Jackson for News 20 at 5. Top athletes from 16 teams competed in the Sam Madison 7x7 tournament in a two-day weekend looking for their way to a national championship. In Tallahassee at the Hansel Tooks Recreation Field, I'm Ashley Jackson. And the champions were in town Monday. If you didn't catch them, Florida State women's basketball team are off to a 1-1 one one start this season after losing a thrilling game to reigning NCAA champions, the University of Connecticut. What's football season without the kicker? At McClay High School, she not only plays soccer, but she plays football too. Some people do it for fun, and others to brush up on their skills. 52 acres of native plants and wildlife while zipping through the treetops, soaring through the swamp, and conquering obstacles on one of the Tallahassee Tree to Tree Adventures courses at the Tallahassee Museum. Grandmother of a zipliner, Phyllis Rhodes, talks about her grandson's prior experience before taking on the course. We took them to the mountains last summer and he ziplined through um, Nantahala. And we are here on spring break and came out to the Junior Museum because he loves ziplining. Co-manager of Tree to Tree Adventures, Raymond Armstrong, says that weekends are the busiest times and gives us a breakdown of the courses offered in the program. So most people prefer Soaring Cypress. That's the two and a half hour, three hour long one um, because it goes out over the swamp and into the lake area. So you go ziplining over water, over animals, all that kind of stuff. Children and adults can soar across more than 700 feet of wetlands and zip over wildlife. The tremendous adventure is for children 39 inches to 60 inches tall and takes approximately 45 minutes to complete. In the courses are 14 to 18 treetop challenges and two zip lines. As you can see behind me, we have a lot of people come through on weekends. It can be two to 300 people in a day. Uh, weekdays tends to be between 50 and 100. So we deal with a lot of clients, um, teach them how to do our course, what the rules are, how our equipment works, and then get them moving through. So grab a harness, clip in, and just let go. Five years, 32 teams, and two days is a breakdown of the Sam Madison Southeast 7x7 Classic, which brung the talent to the competition. Athletes travel from the Southeast to Tallahassee competing against top talent, including the Cam Newton Foundation, coached by the Carolina Panthers quarterback who made an appearance. Newton talks about the tournament being all about the kids and giving them the opportunity to play the game of football. We got kids based out of the, the greater Atlanta area, you know, um, and they sacrificed so much to be on this team. I had a person tell. Uh, you say how they get so much stuff, you know, when you're sacrificing so much with travel time as well as parents and, 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 and making that personal commitment to yourself. As a person who has went through it, I feel like they deserve, you know, uh, being rewarded. Director of Operations for the Foundation, Byron Kellum, says that during his time on the board, he has seen dedication and motivation from the athletes. Tenacity, uh, a lot of hard work, um, a lot of motivation. And what I, what I appreciate about these young men is that they're not selfishly um, experiencing th this opportunity for themselves. They're actually out here trying to get each other better. 16 teams went on to compete in the tournament, but only two advanced to the championship. The Cam Newton Foundation and the 352 Stars from Marion County, Florida, went hand-to-hand -hand on the field, but the Stars came too short of the victory, allowing the Cam Newton Foundation to win the national championship. The wind, a powerful swing, and a birdie is just a sneak peek of what goes on at the FAMU Spring Golf Invitational. The tournament has been around for nearly 30 years and counting, and this weekend it brought five colleges into Tallahassee to play at the Southwood Golf Course. Head coach Marvin Green says that the men's golf team is filled with new and young golfers, but despite their age, he still expects them to be successful on the course. Uh, this is about our sixth tournament of the year. We uh, started in September, 
we have a pretty young team, but we started in Atlanta, uh, went to uh, Savannah, Georgia in the fall, and then eventually uh, this semester we've actually been in a couple tournaments, and now we're hosting our spring invitation. Assistant golf coach Mike Rice talks about the competition between each school that participated and says that this will be a learning experience. Uh, two of them being in our conference, which is good. We'll see them later on uh, this semester. Uh, in the conference championship, so it's really good for us to see where they're at and where we're at um, so early in this semester. From raking the infield to drawing the batter spots in a little bit of water, the FAMU baseball team geared up on their opening day to take on the Wofford Terriers in the first of a three-game series at Moore Kittlesfield. Head baseball coach Jamie Shoup talks about how his team played exactly how he expected them to. Uh, I feel great. Uh, you know, we, we played the game the best we could play it tonight. We executed well. A few too many errors on the board tonight, but we did pound out 18 or so hits. Uh, we know we're going to be pretty good offensively. I thought JoJo settled down good after the first couple of shaky innings. Junior shortstop John Capra got things started by having five at-bats, three runs scored, four base hits, and a four runs batted in on the diamond. He says teamwork played a big part of it. Um, we, we got good chemistry. Everybody, Everybody's friends with everybody. It just kind of makes everything, uh, helps keep you calm out there. You know, you just trust in everybody else that if you don't get it done, they will. Senior pitcher Jojo Durden says he's back in shape after an arm injury last season, and his arm would not stop him. Oh, yeah. I mean, after... After the first two innings, giving up four runs and then coming back and bringing in three zeros, I mean, that's that's real good, you know, for me to go five innings and then, you know, get the bullpen a rest. That way we can use as many guys as possible in the next two games. In the bottom of the sixth, the Rattlers got a hit, making the score 10-4. to Later, FAMU added six runs in the bottom of the seventh on five hits. 